This hack tip is brought to you by Bitbucket by Atlassian. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. Now before I get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are watching this over on YouTube so you see all of our new Hack Tip episodes. We have quite a few coming up. I am super excited to share the knowledge. I am your host, Shannon Morse, and today we are customizing our shell prompt. I am so excited about this episode. The shell prompt is a little bit of text that you see whenever you open your terminal. So for example, if we look at my computer, mine says snubs at snubs xps 13, which is the name of my computer, and then a little dollar sign. And that's it. Now if I type in echo dollar sign ps1 with a space between echo and ps1, it is going to show me the echo prompt for string one, and you'll get a series of random digits and characters. Now mine constitutes a slash U and H for username and hostname, and then WA for the current working directory and a little ASCII bell. So the computer is supposed to beep whenever it sees the shell prompt. Now if you want to edit your prompt, you can back up the original one by typing in uh, whatever you name you want to give it. So for mine, I'm going to call it original underscore backup equal dollar ps1 or something similar to that but it is going to be ps1 now you will know that it works if you type in echo dollar sign original underscore backup for my example to see the original prompt string now you can also delete your entire prompt by typing in ps1 equals and nothing after it or you can just have the dollar sign show up by typing in ps1 equals slash dollar sign. Now adding a space inside the quote marks creates a space in your prompt as well. So you'll notice there is a space between your shell prompt and the actual command that you're typing out. You can re-add the slash H for host name and you can add a timestamp with slash A and so on and so forth. Now if you are interested in learning all of the different options that you can create with your shell prompt, make sure to check out the man page for Bash. I know it's a really long man page, but if you check around line 20 2700 or so. There is tons of more information on this and you can also Google all of the different commands that you can add to your prompt. Now I will be right back after a quick break. Let's be honest, your code is your world. You create it, you tweak it, you lovingly obsess over it every single day. So picking the right repository management tool is super important. Only the best for your code, right? I mean, it's your baby. You wanna make sure you have the best. That's why the team at Atlassian created Bitbucket. Bitbucket is the Git solution for professional teams helping over 5 million developers build with a purpose. Bitbucket gives teams of all sizes free. Yeah, that's right, I said free private repositories repositories with state-of-the-art features like the world's best pull request algorithm, built-in continuous delivery, and integration with your favorite tools like Docker, AWS, and Azure. Plus, you get Jira integration since it is from Atlassian, giving your team everything you need to take your code from concept all the way to customer. We've used Bitbucket to share private code and collab on it so that the code is extremely perfect before we release it into the wild. Bitbucket is for the code that takes us to Mars, decodes the human genome, or drives your next car, or maybe it's for your next infosec tool. You can visit bitbucket.org slash for the code to start your free account. That's bitbucket.org slash for the code. Try Bitbucket today. What will your code do? All right, now let's change the color. Yeah. Color is controlled by something called escape codes. These codes do not appear in the standard out, but they will be read by the computer as specific colors. So for example, I wanna make my prompt purple. So I would type PS1 equals, and then quotes backslash bracket backslash 033, and more brackets with zero semicolon 35M inside of those brackets. And then the rest of it is normal. I know it looks weird, but that is a color code. But purple, turns out it's a little dark. So let's change it to light purple by replacing the zero with a one instead. Now you can also alternate colors. You can make a rainbow. You can pretty much do whatever you want. You will notice that your commands will also be that same color though. So to make sure that your commands typed end up a different color, like for example, I like it when my commands end up white, you can add a color code to the end of your program. So here's my example, and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because it is quite long and it takes quite a bit of time to type it out. 
All right, there we go. Now lastly, if you use a number starting in 4x instead of 3x, like 45 instead of 35 for purple, it will then make the background purple instead of the text. So keep that in mind too if you want to change the background color. And with this as well, you do need to end it with a certain color. So you would end the line with 033 and then in brackets 0m to make it a black background again. And now you know the basics of editing your shell prompt. And there are quite a few different common so have at it. But how do you save it? Remember the bash RC file? Now you can go into there with either nano, vi, or gedit, whichever you prefer. I prefer nano, so that's the one I'm going to use. And you can save your new lines to the bash RC file at the very end as PS1, and you'll put that on one line and type it all out or just copy and paste like I do, and then hit enter a couple of times and put export PS1. And then make sure to save your file with control O, enter control X to save and quit out after saving, at least in nano, that's how you do it. And you can check your changes by typing in echo dollar sign PS1 and hopefully it works right. Or you can also close your terminal session, reopen it and see if your colors and your different changes stayed for your new shell prompt. Now for the easy way to customize your prompt, now that you know how to do it the hard way, you can also just go to easyprompt.net and that's ezprompt.net. Yeah, there's, there's a website for that. It's not as customizable as doing it yourself, but you do have that option. <laughs> I prefer doing it myself because I like changing colors very specifically. Now stay tuned because coming up next week on Hack Tip, I will be discussing packages. Yes, that's right. I can hear your comments now, so behave yourselves. We are talking about apt-get and dpackage, for example. Until then, I want to hear your feedback. How do you show off your shell prompt? Share your pics below and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, on youtube.com slash hack5 for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.